guys, I am on a really awesome tour at the moment, um, just out of Siem Reap, going through the countryside in a 1960s vintage Jeep. And I have my lovely tour guide, Hong, with me. Hello! And she is the sweetest person ever. And she is very, very good at explaining lots of uh, processes to me. We've just stopped at a mushroom farm and looked at the process on how, what type of mushroom is it, Hong? So this is the oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom, how they grow them here. We're off to a vegetable farm. Yes. And then we're going to the floating village later. Uh, actually, we will jump to the Buddhist temple. The Buddhist temple yes. and then the floating village. Yeah. And I think I might get to drive the car at some point soon, which okay. is very exciting. <laughs> um, so stay tuned for that. Okay. She will sell to the middleman, they will come to pick it up. Oh, okay. So, her main like work is to produce, so she not really take them to sell in the market by her own. Yeah. <laughs> this here is the kitchen? Yes. They still use the wood and the charcoal to cook. Otherwise, this will turn the whole house black, so they have to separate from the main house. Oh, okay. Right, kitchen separate from the house. So after Hong uh, showed me all the different types of produce that are grown at that um, local farm, and she gave me an insight into um, local Cambodian ways of life and a bit about their culture and how they live, we then made a stop, a brief stop, at a Buddhist temple. Uh, before heading on to the um, markets to pick up some little snacks and odds and ends for our trip out to the floating village. Now before arriving um, out at the area where we got on the boat um, to the floating village, it was time for the most exciting part of the day, which was when my guide and my driver let me um, drive the vintage Jeep for a while. This is not normally something that is done, um, but seeing as I was the only guest on the afternoon tour, they did make an exception just for me and I had an absolute blast. So thank you so much to Michael and Hong for <laughs> letting me have a drive. Driving a vintage Jeep. Wow. What is it, 1961? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 62, 62. 62, yeah. okay. Easy 
your, your country is kind of like the left side, right? Yeah, our country, Australia, left side, yeah. and then right side of the car. Oh. Yeah. Carry your coconut. Yeah, we've got to keep the coconut and the camera safe. Yeah. We can't have things fly. We can't have things fly out okay. of the way. We go around. cruising through the village for a while um, on the boat we arrived at a pier um, where there was like a little restaurant and a deck uh, so we sat up there and I ate the little snacks that Hong got us from the market and we watched the sunset with a drink in our hand so all in all um, pretty good way to finish up the day. It was then time to jump back in the jeep and head all the way back into CM Reap and say goodbye to my amazing guides from Tours by Jeeps and I will link the um, website down below if you guys are wanting to jump on a tour when you're in uh, Cambodia next. Guys, that is a wrap on an amazing day out. As you can see, hair is askew, red dirt all over me. That is a sign of, you know, it's been a busy but amazing day. I'm here with my amazing tour guide, Hong, and Hello. my wonderful, my wonderful driver, yeah. Michael who are fantastic. I highly recommend you jump on one of these tours, guys, if you are in Siem Reap. Best thing to do, other than Angkor Wat. They took very good care of me all yeah, day. Very nice. <laughs> answered all of my questions. And um, yeah, super great time. Highly recommend. I'll drop the link um, down below for you guys. But um, yeah, I will see you in the next one.